Am I the a-hole for not giving my cousin my grandmother's house after she passed away? I'm a 27-year-old male, and my grandmother passed away recently. In her will, she left me her four-bedroom house. Before my grandmother passed away, she was in danger of losing the house because of unpaid taxes. She asked various family members for help, but none did. I was in college at the time, and I had a huge student refund. She asked me for $1,500 to settle the debt. She said thank you, and we never talked about it again. I didn't want my granny to be homeless after all. That was about eight years ago. Fast forward to today, and I'm now the owner of a house in the heart of Atlanta. Prime real estate, if I do say so myself. I plan on moving in at the end of the month after doing some light cleaning and renovation. Enter my cousin and her kids. She is upset with me because I got the house. She said, because I don't have any kids, I should give her the house because in her eyes, I got the house for free. I thought she was crazy, but a lot of our family is on her side, stating that it's hard out here for a single mother. They told me I can buy a house one day because I am an able-bodied young man. It will be harder for her because she has two kids. I'm like, she chose to have those kids, and that isn't my problem. Everyone is calling me selfish, and hell, maybe I am. But my grandmother wanted me to have the house. Am I the a-hole? Had fun with this Redomation story? Hit the like button and subscribe for more.